Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Iremakure. It only took me, I'm not sure how long, but I'm also like two months behind in the series because season three is on like episode eight. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's not about the end destination. It's about the journey that counts. It's about having something to look forward to every single day, even though I didn't do even more reactions every single day, but I tried my best on certain days I couldn't. It's about the journey, not the destination. No, I'm just pretty much justifying why I'm so fucking lazy. But here we are, season three. Finally, there's eight episodes out. I think this is supposed to go two course. I would imagine it's going to go up to like 20 something plus episodes. So plenty of Edema still to do. But I'm talking as if I've already caught up. Because again, this is episode one. I got to watch like eight more. And I don't think I'm going to catch up in time again. It's going to probably take me like another week or so. But hey, let's begin today's episode. Why is he boinging? Oh. I know that's so cute. Clara and Iruma just bonk you. You know, season 3 looks just the same animation wise as season 2, which is a good thing. Sometimes after a long time of a uh, previous season, they might change directors or just like artistic. But. Jesus Christ, the way. I I'm glad that the um, artistic design is consistent. Like, uh, what was the series? Uh, Devil's a part timer. Season one and season two. That shit was so jarring. But yeah, we are super popular now, right? Because we were heroes at the Walter Park Guard. Everybody, this shit was broadcasted like on TV. We should be so popular now. Let's see. Oh my god. How about some? How about some club for Clara too? We should have brought the uh, the disguised glasses. Eiko! Three seasons! No interaction with Iruma yet! Lashes? Oh my god, lashes. I swear to god we saw her on a date with somebody else um, during the uh, date episode between Iruma and Amiri. Oh, there's her main girl though. She looked on a little pouty. Oh, he's so popular. I can't even greet him! Man. They're really over their heads with the uh, feats from <laughs> Alter Park. Oh my god. Kaligo. Shikuni. Our first Kaligo moment. Oh man, you got tied upside down. So the new term is supposed to be totally different. Like, basically everything up till now was... What's the word? Uh, tutorial. Harvest Festival. I heard the Harvest Festival arc is so hype. There's a musical festival too. There's a new person that I don't recognize in this classroom. Did you just see that guy with the silver hair? With the dot eyes? Wait, 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 wait. I don't think I remember him as part of the Misfits. But wait, wait for it. I'm not showing him right now, but no, I swear to God, there's a character in there that doesn't belong. Yeah, he was in the corner just now. They're intentionally not showing him. Is this the great... The no, I thought it was. I, I thought it was people. No, there's a lot more than three, actually. Teachers? New teachers? Oh. Oh. Oh, who are these guys? Oh, no, it's Bottom. Plus special tutors. Oh, that's the... No, that's, that's the... I forget. Uh, Seduction class teacher. Furu Furu. Okay. <laughs> what a name. Why is she crying? She kind of looks like a duck, I guess. She got the duck beaks. Hello. Clara and Val. Oh, interesting, interesting choice. This guy's name is Mr. Hat. I guess it's like the academics, I guess. And Baram is gonna take, obviously, Iruma and. Aza? Oh? Then Hiruma is with? Wait. Kago then? These two, Shax and Hiruma. <laughs> Shax is getting some. Oh. Okay, maybe Shax will be an important character this season. Because. Well, not you. Who else then? Who's gonna join us? <laughs> Don't we get Super Shell 2? Huh? Oh, Robin! Hello! <laughs> what? You don't like Robin? No, 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 no! There's still one student in here! That's not been mentioned, though! Who is this person? 
Transfer student? Our tutors. Damn, they pick us up too? Wait, also his little bibs is calamity. This design is gonna... Wait, she just walks around with mermaid fins like that? Okay. Why are you always crying? All these designs are really cool though and very interesting. The fact that his... His like little... I don't know what to call it. That clothing he has around his neck says calamity. Because <laughs> this guy is probably insane. Oh, not like that. Not like that. Oh my gosh. Dude, she doesn't need water. She can just create this water around her by crying so much. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? She's very apologetic. Is she really suited to be a teacher? She's very, like, doubting herself. Always sad, miserable. Can you? Okay, show me that. <laughs> like she moves around with her mermaid feet. <laughs> yeah, we can see that. But. But. More water. Okay, what can crybabies do? Is this water coming from her tears? What's going on? Sure, this is so bizarre though. Alright, what's Clara and X gonna do? Clara, X I think is gonna be fine. It's... Jeez, please. Raise the leg a little higher. But Clara, I think, could definitely use a little help. Right? X, I, she's fine. Elizabeth, she's fine. Sure. But it's a little bit... It's a little bit too late for Clara to use that to get Irumo for Mami, but... Okay, oh my god, Sabro and Azaz? This is just training with Bottom! I mean, why am I saying just Bottom? We've seen how crazy he is. And they actually directly wanted training from Bottom, like, in Season 2, at the end of the Walter Park arc. I'm most interested in the... the mermaid girl. He's pretty interesting too! That's a fan service. Among all the first years... The best first years, really. Oh? How? They're really hyping us summoners. That's pretty. Kerori's gonna be a summoner? The charming and sexy. I will make you the most powerful. I will en enhance your bloodline ability. I'll make you sexy. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing, Robin? Uh huh. Yeah. We have no plan. Never mind. Fighting spirit? I think Iruma has plenty of that. But it's interesting to see how Shax is paired with Iruma now. Because Shax hasn't really been focused on in the previous seasons. No, he's been just pretty much in the, just in the sidelines. Like even a character like Jazz that didn't get much recognition, he got more than Shaq. Like I consider Shax like lowest tier not meaning he's bad but in terms of like how much representation they get of all the misfits but maybe it's, it's gonna be different this season because he was like right beside iruma in the poster of season three where iruma had like a bow with ali okay, what's up Bamiri? <laughs> i mean he got drowned there but yes they had fun you gotta go talk to him but he's so... He's got a paparazzi around him now. It's nice to see, like, pouty Amity like this, though. Yeah, he did. I mean... So was Amity was super important. Like, her heroic feat should also be... I guess, celebrated? I don't know. But then again, that's just every day for her, because she's already so popular. Don't give up. Is it Iruma texting you? <gasps> it's him. Hello. Train for the Harvest Festival. So that's the first big arc we're gonna get into. If we're already not in it. What are you gonna do now? What is the Harvest Festival? Tell me. It's just harvesting crops? Nature. Sister? Nature means sister, right? 
This is the girl that was walking to class in the before the intermission. Robin's bigger sister? Hello, little bro. Take a slap. So she's you can already kind of have a guess what kind of character she is. She's pretty outgoing wild. Delinquent. <laughs> I like this design though. She's a pocky too. Okay, she likes snacks. She beats the shit out of Robin. She's not as nice as Robin. Does that mean she also has the same bloodline ability? In five minutes. That's not even that bad. That's like Robin's ability, I think we saw when he retrieved Sullivan from the prison. Right? Ooh. Sully? Sully reached out to you? That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of huge, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Make you feel like you're a mentor. So we just have to pamper. So she has like a design of like a gothic Lolita kind of style, right? But she's the bigger sister. And she's very... Wild, hostile, strong. Eiko, what is that outfit? Your disguise? Like a little mouse? Uh, okay, so we can get better pictures. Are you sure this is teaching us? This is barely mentorship. It just feels like a delinquent just making, you know, like she's just bullying them to get stuff for her. Maybe there's a grand scheme. Maybe there's a big... This just looks like... I don't know. Yeah, we're just getting in trouble now. This looks like we just vandalized a property. What are we doing? I'm sure... There's some... Maybe she's training our stamina. I, I have no clue. Yeah, do you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going... Or Illuminati. <laughs> Lindy and Illuminati. So we have not only, uh... What was the... Did, did Iruma in the Dem... Dem doll arc have a separate name? It was like, Irumi, right? There's Irumi Nati now, and there's Irumi. There's Iruma. And then there's also Evil Cycle Irumin. Jesus, so many different Iruma variants. What are we fucking doing right now? Bachiko is her name. But again, it's because Sullivan requested. It means she must be crazy. I'm sure there's some really important training we're going to learn from this party. I'm, I'm sure it's like a serious thing. We're getting baited. We're getting baited. Okay, that's the first episode of season three. It's kind of throwing me off, but we're already getting thrown into harvest season. Got to prepare for that. There's some kind of like music festival too. Everyone gets like their own tutor where like it's really important training. Every, everyone's tutor is like, I will make you the strongest of all the first year of Babylon. I will make your bloodline the best. I will make you the most powerful. There was the other one. Was, I will make you the most sexy. And now I don't know what our mentor is supposed to be doing, but it's cool that it's Robin and his sister that's teaching us. So we get two tutors and because Solomon requested, I'm sure it's pretty important. It's probably something along the lines of, you know, how in initially we, we have to doubt them. We can't just go immediately right away. I'm sure she has her own secret magic of tutoring. But if Robin is about fighting spirit, would she also be about fighting spirit? Or it would be a different thing. I, I don't really know. But I'm excited to see where everything's going to go. Because I hear the Harp Festival is super, super hype. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algorithm push out my channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.